In the early 1990s, Russia unveiled one of the most radical-looking experimental aircraft ever built, the Su-47 Burkut, Golden Eagle. With its unmistakable forward-swept wings and futuristic profile, the Su-47 stunned observers around the world. Though it never went into mass production or saw combat service, the Su-47's legacy far exceeds its operational lifespan. Today, many experts agree, the Su-47 played a foundational role in shaping the technologies and doctrines behind Russia's modern fifth-generation fighter, the Su-57. Developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau, the Su-47 was first conceptualized during the final years of the Soviet Union under the designation S-37. Its purpose was to serve as a technology demonstrator for next-generation fighter concepts. By the time it officially flew in 1997, now renamed Su-47, the aircraft represented a bold leap in aerodynamic experimentation, flight control software, material science, and avionics integration. The most eye-catching feature of the Su-47 was undoubtedly its forward-swept wing FSW configuration, a design where the wings angle forward rather than backward. This configuration promised exceptional maneuverability, especially at high angles of attack. It also offered improved lift-to-drag ratios and better handling at subsonic speeds. However, FSW designs are notoriously prone to aeroelastic divergence, where the wings flex uncontrollably under aerodynamic stress. To counter this, Sukhoi used advanced composite materials, including carbon fiber reinforced polymers, to make the wings both strong and flexible. These technologies, cutting edge at the time, would later find their way into newer aircraft projects. While the Su-47 itself was not a stealth aircraft, its large vertical stabilizers, external weapons mounts, and radar signature betrayed its visibility. It served as a testbed for stealth-related concepts. The research done on materials, radar-absorbent coatings, and internal systems integration provided valuable data for future stealth platforms. The aircraft also pioneered fly-by-wire FBW systems and advanced flight control algorithms tailored to handle the inherent instability of FSW configurations. These digital systems gave Russian engineers experience with software-dominated flight controls, a necessity for modern stealth jets which are inherently unstable and require constant computerized corrections. Although the Su-47 was quietly shelved as a combat aircraft by the early 2000s, its fingerprints are all over the Su-57, Russia's current fifth-generation fighter. While the Su-57 returned to a more traditional backward-swept wing, the lessons learned from the Su-47's agility and control systems were directly transferred. Several technologies pioneered in the Su-47 were refined and incorporated, including composite airframe construction, used to reduce weight and enhance radar absorbency. High maneuverability aerodynamics, Su-57, boasts super maneuverability with thrust vectoring, a trait heavily refined in Su-47 trials. Digital flight control systems, built on the groundwork laid by the Su-47's FBW innovations. Internal weapon bays, though the Su-47 tested external mounts, it informed the development of integrated stealth-compatible weapon storage. Perhaps more subtly, the Su-47 also influenced the doctrinal evolution of Russian air power. It served as a template for testing advanced tactics in simulated dogfights, giving Russian pilots and developers insight into how future air combat might unfold, especially against NATO stealth fighters. 
Critics often label the SU-47 a failure due to its lack of adoption. However, such a judgment overlooks its true value. The aircraft was never meant to be a production fighter. It was, from inception, a prototype platform to validate concepts and push the boundaries of Russian aerospace engineering during a time of financial and institutional instability in post-Soviet Russia. Despite its cancellation, the Su-47's contribution to aerospace innovation is immense. It helped preserve Russia's fighter design talent during the chaotic 1990s and kept the Sukhoi Design Bureau competitive with Western firms at a time when U.S. projects like the F-22 Raptor were rapidly maturing. Moreover, the aircraft sparked global interest in FSW concepts briefly rekindling Western research into unconventional wing geometries, even though none reached operational status. Only one Su-47 prototype was ever built and flown, yet its existence continues to resonate. The aircraft still appears at air shows and in Russian media as a symbol of engineering daring, with the Su-57 now gradually entering service and Russia developing UAVs and sixth-generation fighters, the Su-47 is increasingly viewed not as a failed experiment but as an essential stepping stone. In the 2020s and beyond, Russia has continued to invest in concept demonstrators such as the S-70 Okotnik V stealth drone and proposals for sixth-gen fighters featuring optional manned control, laser weaponry, and AI-enhanced combat. All of these trace back, technically and culturally, to the Su-47, an aircraft that proved Russia could still innovate, even when resources were scarce and the future uncertain. The Su-47 Burkut never saw combat, never entered serial production, and never faced off against its Western contemporaries. But its impact on Russian aviation is undeniable. By fearlessly exploring unconventional designs, Sukhoi and the Russian aerospace industry forged a technological bridge from the Cold War into the 21st century. The Su-47 is not a forgotten relic of the past. It is a reminder of what bold experimentation can achieve, even in the most turbulent times, and how the seeds planted in the skies of the 1990s would bloom into the stealth fighters of today.